We are going to look at what are some common problems with local variables and the ways that you fix them. Uh, so let's just go right into Visual Studio here and start creating some variables. Right? Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say var first name semicolon. You might notice that something is missing here. Uh, we never gave this variable a value. And if we hover over this thing, it says implicitly typed variables must be initialized. The name, the variable first name is declared but never used. So again, we have both an error and a warning here. The first one is the error. Implicitly typed variables must be initialized. What do we mean by implicitly typed variable? We mean that the variable was declared with var. Right. You saw in the previous video, I could say either var or I could give a type here, uh, and I could say int or string or whatever. Right. Uh, how is it that the compiler knows what type I intended this variable to be uh, if I don't have an initializer here? Right. If I say this is equal to a string, right, now the compiler has enough information to deduce, ah, this was supposed to be a string. Right. Without that initializer, uh, that, uh, that's not legal. Right? This, becomes, this becomes an error. We get this red squiggle underline. Uh, now, however, it is legal to say string first name and then not give it a value. Right? Because now the compiler has enough information to know, oh, you intended this thing to be a string. It's a string. Right? We still get this green underline here that says we've uh, declared this variable, but we've never used it. But of course, we know how to fix that. We can just say first name equals Eric. There we go. A local variable has to be declared by a declaration statement. Uh, and there are three possible declaration statements. You can say var variable name equals value. You can say you can give the name of a type and then the variable name uh, and then the initializer, the equals value. Or you can just say type variable name uh, and just go with that, right? You can assign it the value later, right? Um, now, a variable has got to be assigned a value before it is used, right? So suppose I have this variable, first name, I don't assign it the value until later on, right? And now I say console.writeLine first name. Right. Now I get a red squiggly under here. And if I hover over that thing, it says this is a local variable. It's a string. Its name is first name. Use of unassigned local variable first name. Right. Um, so the compiler has worked out. You are asking me to use the value of this variable before you have even given it a value. Right. Uh, and these, these rules are called the definite assignment rules of C Sharp. Uh, and they are quite tricky to actually work out. Uh, what exactly the, the rules are. In, in very straightforward control flows like this, where it's top to bottom, it's not too hard to see that we have uh, failed to assign this thing a value before it's used. Uh, but in other programs, it can get quite complicated. Uh, a question that I'm often asked and that I often see on Stack Overflow is, why am I getting this definite assignment error? Right? And typically, somebody will have to then explain, well, you have to look at every possible control flow through this method, and you realize, oh, on one of them, uh, the variable is used before it's assigned. We saw in an earlier video that you also get an error if you have two variables of the same name in the same scope. Right? So we know, we know that that's illegal. It says that a local variable named first name is already defined in this scope. What if we forget to declare the variable? Right? What if we just start using first name, start trying to assign it uh, a value? Well, now we get yet another error. This says the name, first name, does not exist in the current context. I can't figure out at all what first name means, says, says C Sharp. Right? Uh, and we'll get the same error down here as well. Right? So the variable has to be declared. Right? Uh, what if we make a spelling mistake? What if we say var first name equals Eric? And then down here, we say console.writeLine first name. Well, again, now it will say the name first name does not exist in the current context. This can be surprisingly difficult to, uh, to find, particularly if you use a lot of you know, weird abbreviations in your variable names. Because it's, it's easy to transpose letters accidentally and think that you have created the variable when in, when in fact you haven't. 
Uh, fortunately, you know, this one is this one is pretty straightforward. The one that is often very difficult for people to find is this one, right? Where now it is again saying the very the name first name does not exist in the current context. Well, sure it does. It's right there. C# -sharp is a case sensitive language. So this variable which begins with the small letter f and this name which begins with the large letter f are considered to be completely different, right? So be careful that you're not making casing mistakes. Uh, because they are hard to, uh, they're hard to track down. Some languages do allow you to make casing mistakes. Visual Basic, for example, uh, allows variables to be cased arbitrarily and it just figures it out. Some people think that that's more confusing than it is uh, worth it for the bugs that, uh, for the bugs that you don't get. Uh, me, personally, I'm kind of on the opinion that, uh, that C Sharp does it the right way, right? That uh, variables should have a consistent casing throughout. Summing up this video, uh, if you declare a variable with a type explicitly in the code, you do not require an initializer, but you are required to somewhere give a value to that variable before it is used. Right? Uh, we've seen repeatedly that unused variables cause warnings. Uh, we've seen already that uh, if you have two variables with the same name, that's an error. We've seen that forgetting to declare a variable entirely is an error. Uh, and that you know, spelling and casing mistakes are also errors. In fact, they are essentially the same as the you forgot to declare a variable error.